Nimrodel Donahue is concerned about the health and safety of her two young children. She believes that when it comes to protecting them, routine vaccinations are important. Because I think it's important that they're protected against everything that's out there. It's something that I really want them to have. Vaccination is has been the most effective public health measure to help pre prevent serious life-threatening disease in children. Dr. Jim Kellner is head of the Department of Pediatrics and an infectious diseases specialist at the Alberta Children's Hospital in Calgary. The most important thing about childhood vaccinations is that they're safe, they're effective, and there's a large number of very important, potentially life-threatening diseases that you can prevent by routinely vaccinating your child. What people don't realize is that many of the diseases that we have seen many, many years ago that we don't see today because there have been mostly eliminated or greatly reduced is because of the vaccines. Before there were vaccines, um, the, the number of cases of illnesses caused by vaccine-preventable diseases uh, in children every year in Canada was huge, hundreds of thousands of cases. And now with vaccinations, many of these diseases have either disappeared or nearly disappeared. We no longer see polio in Canada, haven't for a long time. Uh, in the days when there was polio, every summer there would be fear about whether the size of the polio epidemic was going to be how big it would be and how many children would be affected and how many children would be killed. And now we've had a couple of generations of Canadians who have grown up without that fear of polio and some of these other formerly devastating diseases that have just essentially disappeared. Despite the success vaccination programs are providing in disease prevention, some parents still lack confidence in vaccine safety. Overall, I think the level of public acceptance and appreciation of vaccines and vaccination programs for children is very high. I do think that there are some people who don't have the same degree of comfort or willingness to see their children vaccinated. And what I sort of want to say there is that I think that there's a tremendous amount of good information that's out there and that if people are struggling with the decision about whether to vaccinate their children, I'd really encourage them to seek out the best information they can and uh, talk to um, their physician or, or public health providers because there's a lot of good information out there to help people make the decisions. I think that it's the parents' responsibility to do the research about the vaccination and to decide whether it's right for your family. Dr. Kellner believes that people would be more confident if they understood what safeguards are in place. Whenever a new vaccine is uh, considered for use, uh, really extensive testing is done to ensure that the vaccine is not only effective, but actually to ensure that first and foremost it's safe and uh, very large-scale studies are done to try to ensure that we get as much information as we can about a new vaccine before it would ever be used uh, in general use. There is also a system in Canada called IMPACT, Immunization Monitoring Program Active, that provides additional oversight in vaccine safety. IMPACT is a monitoring system that's uh, sponsored by the Canadian Pediatric Society as well as the Public Health Agency of Canada. It's in place in uh, 12 hospitals across Canada, uh, children's hospitals, and it monitors for cases of vaccine-preventable diseases that um, occur in children and are, or are admitted to hospital or significant vaccine effects that occur in children that end up getting admitted to hospital. And uh, it's been really useful to help us understand much better about what the overall impact uh, uh, of vaccines has been in Canada, as well as possible um, issues or concerns that come with vaccine use. And vaccinations aren't just for children. Parents and grandparents and, uh, and adults need to talk to their physicians or, or go to websites to, to, to see what vaccines they should be getting, because there are vaccines uh, to be given throughout uh, life uh, and at specific ages and for people with specific uh, uh, risks. I really strongly recommend vaccination myself. I've, I've decided that that's what's right for my family. But I think it's so important that you are informed rather than misinformed. To find out more about what vaccines are available to you and your children, speak to your doctor and visit these websites. <laughs>